Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to talk to you about this very special knife of mine. It is a United States Marine Corps K-Bar fighting slash utility knife. This particular one was presented to me as a gift from a good friend and uh, slash student. Throughout my tour in the United States Marines, I carried a K-Bar knife exactly like this one. And it served me well all over the world for more uses and applications that I could even name. So as you could imagine, this knife became an extension of me uh, because of so much time that I spent with it. Uh, just like our firearms and anything else that you are issued, it becomes a part of you. And uh, a lot of that is out of necessity that you find out a little bit later down the line. While in the Marines, I was instructed in Marine Corps combatives and a lot of that has to do with utilizing a fighting knife such as this K-Bar. So as a teenager in the United States Marine Corps being exposed to Marine Corps combatives, it really piqued my curiosity. So once I finished my active duty tour, I pursued other instructors, blade instructors, knife instructors, and pretty much anything that I could get my hands on to verse myself and expand on the knowledge that was built upon in the United States Marine Corps. The fact that this knife has the nice long blade ideal for slashing purposes. It also has a great balance on it, so it feels good in your hand. Uh, regardless of what you're doing, it's a very natural movement that you gain, especially once you practice enough uh, with whatever knife you choose. But for this, for my intents and purposes, we are speaking about the K-Bar. And as I've progressed over the years and started uh, teaching knife defense and other combatives, the K-Bar, and especially the training version of it, which mimics the blade uh, almost identically, became one of my go-to tools to work on with students. Uh, once again, same application. You got this long lever or long blade. So it allows them to experience uh, the certain nuances that a knife uh, brings to the game, whether it's defensively or whether it's offensively. And especially when students are just starting out and being a bit timid, um, especially when they're utilizing a blade or learning the blade, even though they are using a uh, plastic tool, it still brings that feeling of uncertainty into uh, the game or into the training session. And that allows my students to learn the certain nuances of wielding a knife uh, correctly in a self-defense scenario. So now that being said, the K-Bar knife, once again, I don't just, I like utilizing my tools. I don't just uh, like keeping them as wall hangers, even though as I collect more and more and more, they do get a lot less use as far as individually. But this is one of those knives because of the sentimental value that makes an appearance out in the field with me at least a few times a year. And when I do bring my K-Bar out in the field with me, I try not to butcher it. I try not to give it uh, too much damage, but the fact that it's out in the field with me and getting used, once I get back, I do want to give it some TLC and put that razor sharp edge right back on my K-Bar. And to accomplish that mission, I utilize my Wicked Edge systems. Now my K-Bar was out in the field with me a few weeks ago and I still haven't been able to give it any of the TLC. And what I want to do today is utilizing my Wicked Edge 130, I want to put the razor edge back on my K-Bar. Once again, I haven't abused it too much, so I can go with the lighter grit stones just to put it back to perfection where this knife should always be. So if you're interested in seeing that process, keep watching. Okay, so I'm set up here to start sharpening my K-Bar. A couple of the things is that since I have sharpened this K-Bar before, I knew what the angle was, so it was easy for me to set. I had it written down, didn't have to use my Sharpie to find the angle. And if you're interested on, in that process, if you haven't seen it before, I will link uh, more detailed tutorials below in the description, so be sure to check them out. Now what I did here is just put a couple pieces of paper, normally I'll use some blue tape, but I had this handy, put it on each side so that I wouldn't go ahead and uh, scratch or ding up the finish on my K-Bar. Since the blade on my K-Bar is in relatively good shape, I am only going to use the 1500 stone to the 2200 stone and finish up with the 3000 stones. Okay, that's feeling pretty smooth. Already getting that nice sharpness 
Just bring and display it a little bit more back to life to its uh, original condition. And now let's move on to the 2200 grit. I could already feel that razor edge and for most uh, blades we'd be done right here it's good to go but since I have my 3000 grit let's add a few passes with the uh, 3000 grit just to give it that little bit extra that this k-bar deserves and let's test it out razor sharp exactly what I expected and exactly what my USMC K bar deserves so bottom line if you want a wicked edge on any of your blades definitely check out these wicked edge knife sharpening systems